Hello, Craig Basher here, Application Engineer for Advanced Solutions. Today I'm going to show you a technique here that will help you get the correct sheet metal flat pattern for your cutouts. So let's hop over to Inventor. So here I have my sheet metal component. I also made a sketch. Now this sketch I'm going to use to cut out my uh, section. Now I've seen a lot of users do this and what they what they come to find out is that when they go to their flat their flat doesn't always come out right and they have to go back and edit maybe the export the DXF piece notice that I have this edge here and that edge both of those edges will be exported out as a DXF programmable file now the technique that I like to use is that I go back and I create my solid of the shape that I have and then I will create a derived component of that solid. So I'm going to click on derive, I'm going to pick on my part here and then I'm going to use my model here as a surface. Now that I have the surface, I'm going to use another tool called Thicken and Offset. And I'm going to use the thickness of the material here to create the sheet metal thickness. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick my edges here. And I'm going to have to do this in order. I'm even picking the fillets that I created from the solid. Now I have all the edges selected. I can say OK to that. I can even hide the solid or the surface that came from the solid. And now what I can do is I can go and create my flat pattern. And if I zoom up into that area, I do not have the double edge that I had before. So I really hope this technique can help you in your complex sheet metal designs. I also want to say thanks for watching. Now, if you need a longer demo about Autodesk Inventor or you need some consulting services, we can provide that for you. You can visit our website or you can call us toll-free at 1-877-GET-ASI-1.